I'm Sheetal Shetty, your editor of Kitchen Ideas magazine. We are here today to know Mr. Yogan Wolf, managing director, Hafler South Asia's story. He's got an amazing story of coming to India from Germany to set up shop here, and I must say he's done it wonderfully well in the last 20 years that he's been in India with Hafler. Good evening, Mr. Wolf. Good evening, Sheetal. How are you? Thank you so much for your time today, Mr. Wolf. We wanted to speak to you about your journey the last 20 years and more in India, heading Hafler year. Hmm. Could you let us know about your story in Hafler? How did it begin? When did it begin? Which year did you come in in India? So it's quite an unusual story, to be honest, because um, we didn't really come here with a business plan, strategic purpose, we came here really because we had picked up a number of uh, hospitality projects with one of the big hotel chains here in India and um, we basically needed people on the ground. Okay. And um, it so happened that Heflin and I met in Europe at that time and um, they had been looking for somebody to go to India for them mm. for some time. Right. And I happened to be free and so we got together and basically in 2001 um, I joined Hafler to come uh, and go to India and set up ultimately the um, sales company that we set up here. Right. So that happened in 2001. I started with the company um, 1st September 2001 and after induction sort of hit the ground, not running, standing um, initially uh, in October 2001. So we didn't really have a, a big plan at that point. It was just uh, to accompany the projects that we had picked up and um, to make sure that our customers felt, uh, felt looked after from a service point of view. Of course. Yeah. So, and then a number of things happened. Um, you may remember there was the attack on Parliament and, and, um, and that sort of uh, changed the dy dynamics of the market. The market, particularly in the hospitality segment, came to a grinding halt because nobody really wanted to invest at that point in time. They didn't know. You know, is there going to be war? Uh, what is going to happen to the economy? And uh, a lot of people were sitting on the fence waiting to see what happens. And that left us in a lurch because really we had sort of banked on that hospitality segment to, um, to start developing and, um, and giving us uh, additional revenues and that didn't happen. So we need to look at options and alternatives and um, we looked at um, the situation in the trade market to understand um, how are fittings actually sold in India. Allow me to interrupt you. Mm -hmm. This was between the year 2001 and 2003 that you started looking at the trade market. Correct, yeah. And uh, then something happened um, which was um, very lucky in many ways and that was that uh, we were approached by a number of European brands that were quite keen for us to represent them here. And that sort of um, gave us a bit of a shot in, in the arm and um, uh, gave us an initial portfolio to offer to the market that was attractive and that was innovative um, and helped us to penetrate the, the trade market. So can I assume after hearing this that it was because of this other brands which wanted Hafler to you know, market their products in India that Hafler India Private Limited started here? Not really. Um, we really started, we, we always came here with the objective to find, you know, eventually open a subsidiary and a company. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> the way we normally do this is we go into the market and we understand the market a little bit and we, you know, understand who are the market participants, what are the channels, you know, what the, what the dynamics are, where is the majority of the market and so on. And we did all that and, and then we would typically set up a company. And that was also the, the, the intention here. It's just that um, through the um, acquisition of these brands um, we were able to uh, come up with a certain volume from the very beginning that would uh, make this viable True. And, and not having to sort of step by step build it up in you know to a critical critical volume. So that that's that worked really well for us. 